I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> All right guys, here I am with another folding quadcopter. This is the G-Star X8 Sky Hunter. It has a little camera on the front and these arms fold down quite small and it has landing gear on the bottom. So this is gonna be an interesting flight. I already have the Wi-Fi hooked up so I have everything all ready to go right here. And there's my real time view and it's actually not too bad. There's not a whole lot of lag in this one compared to some of the other toy drones but this one's also a little bit bigger scale than some of the other ones I've done uh, I can start video right here I can take photos I can go back to the home screen I can rotate the camera up and down for some odd reason if you're flying upside down uh, you can go to the gallery you can change the flight speed from 30 60 to 100 and it looks like it has gravity sensor so if you're flying with your phone like this with the on-screen controls instead of the controller you can do that uh, using the tilt of the phone I'm not a super big fan of that so I'm gonna turn that off and fly from the transmitter itself it looks a lot like a PS3 or a PS4 transmitter and uh, I labeled all my buttons so I would know what everything is because nothing on this one is labeled but let's go ahead go outside and do some flying all right guys let's go ahead and do the flight demo I have it recording here so I'll go ahead and arm the motors and we'll do an auto takeoff hands-free takeoff and it does have altitude hold as well. It's kind of interesting on this quad, the front props are actually lower than the rear. So sitting just a little bit lower, the back props are a little bit higher. You can see that right there. So it's pretty stable right here without GPS. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Gives you a little something to grab onto. It's trying to stabilize itself there. That's pretty neat. And this is also a super light quadcopter. So this is something you want to fly when there's absolutely no wind. Hey guys, how's it going? I flew a lot of these quads today. Quite a few demos. And this one is not super fast. Right now I'm in 100% rate mode. So the smaller FQ77 I flew was actually a little bit faster, but maybe this one shoots a little smoother video because it's a little bit bigger. A little bit larger of a quadcopter. Each size you go up tends to sometimes make a little better video depending on the video camera. Whether you have an ND filter and an actual motorized gimbal, of course. There's some rabbits over there to my right. They're kind of checking out the quad. Looks like little baby rabbits way over there. Let's see if I can film them without scaring them too much. There they are. I don't know if you can see them in the frame or not. That's pretty cool. We have a guest uh, on our flight demo today. Family of rabbits. How cool is that? The quad is drifting away with the wind. The wind's kind of coming across the field right here, so... Where are they at? There they are. There's those little rabbits. All right, that was pretty cool. So now I'm using the FPV on my phone here and it looks like it has a pretty decent ratio as far as frame rate goes. It's actually pretty smooth. I was able to use the FPV view right here on my phone to bring it back. I was over there by those trees and it's a little bit dark over there but I can see just fine on my phone. It's fighting the wind a little bit to come back and I'll try putting it in a different mode. Now it's in 30% mode, so it's really crawling. But with that fixed camera position, when you're in forward flight, you're kind of looking at the grass if you're not high up enough. But the higher you go, the more wind you're gonna get. So if you're flying in a wind shadow somewhere, that's the way it's gonna be. But let's go back up to 100% mode and it flies a little quicker into the wind. Kind of a quick turning quad. You're not going to get like super smooth pans or anything with this one. But there I'm full stick forward right there. Look how slow it's moving. It's going super slow. And that's probably okay. This thing is not a speed demon.
it's actually really really relaxing to fly some of them just are a little too twitchy and this one seems to be really predictable and I, and I like that in a toy quad you want something predictable because if I was going to let my my son or my daughter fly something when they get a little older this is kind of like something I'm looking for that's going to be relaxing uh, also as a trainer because whoever's going to be the pilot trainer is going to uh, have to have some nerves of steel when they're training young people but with something like this it's not super dangerous definitely don't want to get hit by those props but this is a really lightweight machine now I can trim right here so I'm going to try to trim this one out and see how how close I can get it to stop drifting okay now it's going to drift a little bit to the right but that seems to be trimmed out pretty well right there that's a hands off hover look at that how cool is that Let's do a little punch out. And like I said, this is not a super scary quadcopter. So here's the max punch out you're going to get. Full throttle right there. Full throttle. Not very scary, guys. It's actually really stable. You can also turn off the LEDs with the transmitter. It's going to go up a little bit here. Hit my LED button there. Might have to press and hold it. Which I think that's what that was for. Maybe not. It's got red LEDs in the rear. It's very easy to see on the bottom as long as it's over top of you. I think at night it would be really, really bright. Those are huge LEDs on this quad. Now, if we come in for a landing like that, it's doing an auto landing. It means that we're pretty much out of battery. So I got about almost six minutes out of this battery. Didn't seem to last as long as the FQ777 quad did, but almost as long. And it does have vents here to cool the motors while it's running and foldable arms here when you're ready to go home with it. I think that's the way it folds like this, like that. This one folds in. This one folds over top. And it comes with a nice little bag too. And these actually fold down. So this is pretty cool. Foldable landing gear. And you can still get to the power button here to turn it off. So that's a pretty cool little quad. The Sky Hunter X8. That was pretty awesome. Neat little quad. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.